Hey you guys, welcome back to Simple Gardening. I thought I would just show you me harvesting my peppers today. It looks like this may be the last batch I have for the uh, summer. We're approaching fall. I garden in zone 8A. It is end of September. And as you can see, I haven't been doing a very good job of eating my peppers because I have peppers galore. Look at how pretty they look though. They all start out a coarse green and if you leave them on here long enough they turn red and I think the more red they get the hotter they get. So if you really want hot peppers you leave them on there for longer. But isn't that just beautiful? I am thinking of propagating them and then I am gonna plant them actually just in my flower bed because look at look at the structure and the uniqueness they bring in the color. Isn't that pretty? So this is a different variety. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I tried to get the mammoth jalapenos and somehow I ended up with this. And I'm very happy that I got it because they're different and they're unique. Um, the green one is not as spicy so I usually I'll eat this. I put it on my um, quesadilla. You know, you can make salsa with them. Very good. They're not very hot. The red one does get a little bit hot though. Uh, forewarn you. And then I have two other and these are my giant um, mammoth jalapenos that's what they're called and you can see I've left them on here for so long that we even mowed and they got some grass on them but I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut them harvest them and give them to my friends who have been wanting some and I told her I would bring her some but see there are some red ones I've also got new buds ah, that's so weird there this harvest season has been so long I, I can't eat them all we actually made um, jalapeno poppers super yummy very simple to do you guys and these are great because look at how big they are so you can either take them from the top and then stuff them but I like to cut them in half and then I fill both sides with cream cheese the um, honey pecan cream cheese is the yummiest one by far you guys uh, I would definitely recommend that one we've tried all different kinds we've tried the artichoke uh, cream cheese dip that's really good too but my favorite w is the honey pecan because it creates that little sweetness to the spiciness super yummy I definitely would recommend that so I'm gonna go in here just harvest all of these and then give them to them and it looks like I'm just gonna leave the plants here these the, um, the bell peppers are well not bell peppers these are jalapeno peppers jalapeno pepper bell peppers any kind of pepper they are very easy to propagate from cutting so I'm, I actually already took some cutting for the fall season they're rooting right now and then I'm gonna put them in a greenhouse and then in the springtime I'll come out and then I will transplant them but as you can see I mean look they've got new flower new flower means new peppers so right here see them so that new flower will fall off and then they will form this let me see see this little guy so that's a pepper and as it grows um, let me see if I can find one in its other stage see as it grows it develops this and then it keeps getting bigger and bigger and then it becomes this and then it becomes mammoth size and then they start to turn red if you leave them on for too long and then that's when they get just a smidgen spicier and you leave them too long they get a little bit squishy and mushy and yucky but you can dry them and ground them up and then use them as um, pepper flakes so I'll be doing that too with them but you can see all the new buds I have and that's pretty exciting I mean the growth season here in Georgia is no joke it is definitely worth growing stuff here so I'm gonna come over gonna harvest them I'm gonna harvest both different kinds Oop, I'm gonna get stuck on this look at these thorns they are my mayor's lemon but it's definitely thorning up so ooh, this one has a little insect on it or something see I think it's still good though. So all you have to do is just wash it off. Am I too close? Not close enough? You see it right there? I should have brought a bucket out here, which I don't have. So I'm going to use my OW 
U shirt, soccer shirt, that I got from some of my friends from college supporting the alum, you know. Those girls are pretty awesome. Some of my best years were in college. Ooh, yeah, you can definitely smell them. Look at this one. Color is turning, but it's not quite red. But look at that intense red. That's my favorite kind of red. Like Lady in Red. So, my uh, daughter go to school with, you know, other kids and their mom wanted some, so I don't want these to go to waste. So we're going to keep on cutting. And I still have some more. I'll probably leave just a couple for me here and there. But... also a good thing if you actually harvest them it's kind of like deadheading pruning them back so more will grow that's Zena back there I was wondering what was creating that noise oops they come in all different sizes you guys Okay, I should definitely have gotten a bag to put them in. Because look, look at how many I've gotten just from that one plant, and that's one plant. Okay, let's go over here. Sorry, I have to put the stand down real quick so it doesn't topple over. Go down here. See? <laughs> it did topple over. Okay, so the ground is not quite. Look at how big this one is. The ground is just not quite where it needs to be. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? is chasing something. Okay, so see this one is a little bit too mushy. See how it squishes? So even though you don't see any bugs in it or holes that bugs are in it, it's just too mushy so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give it to the guest. So see how firm these are? This is what you want it to be like. This one is pretty firm too, although smaller. Ooh, they smell hot. Hot tamale. All right, let me get back there. And this here, let me show you what my asparagus looks like. I don't really have enough asparagus to to cut off and eat, but ow! Shepherd's hook. They are menace as well. And you don't watch me some more. Yummy. Okay, there's a couple little ones that I'm going to leave on there. And we're still in the 80s in the daytime, but the nighttime is getting to about 60s. 
So they are definitely dwindling down, but there's still there's still some time left for it to mature some more. So I think I'll leave just the little ones here just so I can have some and as you can see more flowers. I think I'm gonna remove this one. Remove this one and this one. <laughs>